Your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. The plea deal for Hunter Biden's criminal case involving charges of allegedly failing to pay more than $200,000 in federal income taxes for both 2017 and 2018, and the charge of illegally possessing a firearm while being a drug user, has reportedly been unraveled during a court hearing that occurred Wednesday of this week. This began when a federal judge raised concerns of the president's son, possibly possibly getting preferential treatment. The U.S. District Court Judge Mary Ellen Noreka had multiple concerns regarding the plea deal specifics and her own role in the proceedings. The plan, which included an agreement on a separate gun charge. The terms of Hunter's agreement stated that the gun case would have been wiped from his record so long as he adhered to the terms of agreement. In the event he did not hold up the terms of agreement, the felony charges would have carried 10 years in prison. The agreements made regarding the plea deal left many questions for Judge Noreka. She believed that the lawyers needed to untangle technical issues, including the judge's role in enforcing the gun agreement, before they move forward with the case. While asking the defense team to explain why she should simply accept the plea deal, Hunter Biden pleaded not guilty to the tax charges. He, however, pulled back on pleading not guilty later on to move forward with the plea deal. Judge Noreka raised several concerns, the first of which regarding the agreement for the gun charge, stating that it would have created a role for her where she would determine if he violated the terms, and she argued that such a role doesn't exist for judges. She also raised concerns about the agreement for the non-prosecution clause for crimes outside of the gun charge, and continued continued by inquiring Hunter's Ukrainian and Chinese entities that he referred to in the agreement, asking for their name as it was not mentioned prior. Finally, she asked Hunter about the last time he used drugs or alcohol and if he was currently receiving treatment for it. Hunter answered, stating that June 1st, 2019 was the last time he was under the influence, and was in an anonymous support group for his substance abuse issues. However, Hunter did not say he was currently in treatment.